Welcome to the State of Mind podcast. I am Electra. If you know Arash, motherfucking Divazar, or AZD, then you know me, okay? If you don't know him, then you got to get to know him. This is the State of Mind podcast. This is for women. This is for your state of mind. This is for your life. This is for you, okay? 100% for you. This is your time. Everything else up until now, you can completely, completely just drop, literally, literally, whatever the fuck has happened up until now. Let it the fuck go. Even if it was fucking good, okay? Why, why? Because it's literally in the past. Right? And a lot of times, even we hold on to we hold on to things in the past that were really good and try to recreate it. But that's not that's not how life works, and that's not how you're gonna get to where you want to go. Right? A lot of people do this with their body, right? If you've ever looked really good in the past. You know, you, you look at your freaking Facebook. Now, I don't know what that's like because every year I look goddamn better. And if you follow me and what we do every single goddamn year, you're going to look better. You're going to think better. You're going to feel better. Your life is going to be better. Your finances are going to be better. Your, your spiritual and internal peace is going to be better. Every single year we get better by this philosophy. This is, this is the IMC Nation philosophy and everybody that, that uh, follows it and no, it's not a fucking cult or maybe it is. I don't give a fuck, okay? I caught somebody's thought on that. Yeah, I can catch you through the fucking screen. And if you're a hater, nobody gives a fuck what you say. No, you really, really don't give a fuck. So say that. So anyway, you're gonna get better every single year as, as a female, uh, if you're on this path, okay? So, oh, that's what I'm saying. You don't want to, you don't wanna try to find back there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look how I used to, right? You don't have a, the proper flow forward, okay? But you're going to learn all of this. That's why you're here, all right? So I don't want to fucking lecture before because this is the State of Mind podcast. The way that it's going to run is I have a beautiful co-host. Today, it's Antoinette, uh, my student. I like to um, hit her with sticks and to make her really strong. And anytime that, um, anytime that she has a negative thought, you know, the yoga blocks, Right? I have them all over the house. I have them all over the house. I just take one and I throw it at her. So that happens, okay? Uh, but anyway, Antoinette is going to be the <laughs> co-host today, okay? Uh, thank you for joining me today. What's going on? Um, thank you for having me. That's funny. <laughs> uh, great things. You know, just I was at the gym earlier today, most of today, training people. Marie's on here. So I trained her earlier today. That was a lot of fun. I trained yeah. Antoinette to train. And she's fucking bomb as fuck. They even said for a little while, it was quick, right? Like, we went for it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and when we had IMC, right? Fucking, oh my God, IMC was the spot. You I missed that place. <laughs> it was the fucking spot, right? IMC goes down in fucking history. It, I mean, we'll bring you back again, over, okay? Uh, it'll be a different, different flavor, but anyway. Anyway, go. I don't want to fucking cut you off. Go ahead. You were at the fucking gym. What happened? Yeah, one thing that I notice when I'm at the gym is like how dead people look. Like people don't look alive. Like they look very yeah. like, um, damn. Like I see people working out, and they they have like no emotion. Like they're not even there. Like they're zombies, just like on the treadmill or just standing, like doing the little machines and stuff. Like no wonder they don't get any results with their body. Yeah. Like it's insane. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking bad, huh? Fuck. Yeah. Um, okay, so, like, going on that, what are some, like, 
things that you could do like when you're going through life to stop getting in that zone i feel like it's something that like people kind of get lost in their mind and they're not really awake so what are some things that people could do to wake up and to really just be aware like i think it's just a level of awareness people aren't aware of anything nowadays yeah good question really good question like anything you know a well look you're you're born with a certain level of awareness right whatever it may be some of some of us are more awake and some of us aren't right Mm -hmm. now let's say now you come in contact with this and you're like fuck like there are certain moments that i feel so alive Mm -hmm. you know and like you know, even if it's like you're training with me or you're training with, I'm going to mute you when, when you're not talking because it's loud over there. You're training with, with me or you're training with, uh, you know, Antoinette or one of the trainers or you're watching a lecture and, you know, then you move forward or something, right? You're using the teachings and you feel so alive, right? And the goal is to have more and more of these moments. Eventually, to the point where, I mean, fuck, like, why, why go light on the goal? Eventually to the point where there's no moments of unconsciousness or unawareness, right? That's something I have, I have seeked for a long time. You know, I've been on this path for a long time. And so that's something that, You know, truthfully, like anything, I've had to fight for. You know? You have to decide whatever it is that you want in your life, you better be willing to fight for it. You better be willing to fight for it. Right? So that sense of awareness you could say sense of aliveness man i felt at moments right i would see it in a rush i would be studying i would be you know experiencing things or be listening to lectures and like you know applying things and helping people there would be moments in my life that i was like wow this is me fucking alive right now this is this is where it's at (laughs) okay this is where the fuck it's at good good Now, you know what you feel that about? Even if it's this as I'm talking about it. And I'm teaching on on both levels, right? I say this, but what we're really talking about is you. Your aliveness. Some people don't seek that. That's why I'm saying that. What are going to do? Okay? But you do seek something. So anyway, I have these, you know, moments that, you know, I would experience such a high level of of awareness and light and uh and good feelings right and then i I would i would go to a rush and i would be like i'm telling you i will do whatever tell me what to do i i want to fucking experience life i don't want to fall asleep you know i have these moments i'm falling asleep right practice 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 the way that the way that we live what i teach you girls the the how we live it's designed it's not by accident i don't tell you to do a morning ritual because it sounds cool right or it's the new thing to do like oh that okay you know what i'm going to do pilates now I love Pilates, but I'm making a joke. I'm being funny with it, right? Oh my gosh, okay. It's all about, it's all about juice cleanses. Totally, okay? It's about, it's about juice cleanses, it's about doing your Pilates or your fucking workout or whatever, right? So all of these, these, these ways of living that have been really decoded. This is the mentorship program. Step by step, how to fucking at least be able to be you in comparison to life. You know what I mean? 
You don't want to lose yourself in these pieces, right? So that, I mean, it's just, it's a constant awakening. You know, I don't know if it's okay. Now I'm, I'm done and I'm awake and I'm fully enlightened. No, 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 no. Who's to say, right? So it's a constant awakening. It's a constant evolution, but these, these ways of living that I teach you girls are designed to, to keep you evolving towards this and keep you out of it, basically. Right? Yeah. Next, oh. Totally. Well, my next question is um, kind of picking up back in off of that. You said, like, it's a constant thing. And then you're constantly having to work for and fight for and to you know, achieve. And yeah. I think some people don't get that, that in everything, in every aspect of your life is like, it's a constant thing. I think you did a, like when you first came out with uh, your mentorship program, like a year ago, you did a video about how every day you have to earn your power. Yeah. And every day you have to like earn your body, whatever it is, you know, your health, yeah. your finances and stuff like that. Can you talk about that? And like, how, yeah. like I do like see how some people that I talk to, they really think that, okay, I'm going to do it for like a month, two months, I'm going to get there and then I don't have to do it anymore. Whether it be finances, whether it be reading, whether it be studying, whether it be whatever it is. Yeah, totally, totally. So, I, I, just so you know, I got totally fucking distracted when you were talking. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> I need water and I, you know, I don't need water, okay, but I would like some. So I was like searching the house in my mind where the closest water was, and uh, I don't know where it is. So, <laughs> so something to the order of um, something about shorten it for me, really quick. Boom! What was it? What was the question? Uh, earning your power every day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it is. It's a process. That's what Arash would say. That's what Arash says. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're engaged in, it's a process. And you want it to be like this, right? Even your relationships, they're a constant process. They're, that means there's, there's a continuation of growth, right? Yeah. Because look, once you get the once you get the body that you want, you want more. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know, we desire a game as as beings, right? We want a game. We want to we want to keep going. It was a fucking trip. Look, I have always wanted to to look like this, right? I've always wanted the next shoe or whatever. Then at some point I was like, whoa, what weird goals. <laughs> they don't ever, they don't ever like, you know, once you get there, you want new goals. That's what we want. That's what keeps us going. The moment you stop having goals, you stop winning in life. You literally start to lose your, your drive and, and, and energy. Take a look around you, right? That's, that's people without goals. Uh, Arash said that something, something like, uh, you know, his words are so poetic, but something to the order of a man is as dead as his goals are or something like that right find a find a man without goals or find a woman without goals and she's bored and lazy and tired and right so it's a continuous thing you want the process to keep going you have to enjoy the process though not complain that you aren't there yet Not need it to be there tomorrow.
right? Enjoy the process of, and I don't want to get all fucking spiritual. I want to have, you know, keep it light and fun because it's the fucking uh, state of mind podcast. Okay. So last little piece on this, and then we'll move on to the next question. So you want to enjoy the process of making money again. Okay. Enjoy that fucking process, waking up and going hard at it. Go hard, go fucking hard. Have fun with it. Right. But, but do it sincerely, like, right? Like I've taught you before, play the game sincerely. Fucking go for it. Fucking go for it. Enjoy the process of, of uh, getting in shape. Love seeing your body change, right? Love getting up and going, oh, shit, I get to work out today. Hell yeah. Now, you even have to do it with your nutrition, okay? Good. Today I get to, uh, you know, get thinner for my nutrition or whatever your goal is. Use it. You know what I mean? You got to be able to use your mind to like the things that you want to like. Straight the fuck up. That's what, that's what I have done. I have used my mind. That's what, you know, Rosh has always said, you got to use your mind. Use your mind. And what does that mean? Change it so it likes the things that you want to like or that get you closer to the life that you want. You can't keep liking fat ass, disgusting ass food, cupcakes and McDonald's and all of that shit if you want to look fucking good. Change your mind and make yourself like what you want change this body and make it like tell it no <laughs> tell that bitch no say shut the fuck up i don't care if you want that this is what we're eating let's go right come you command your body and your mind you gotta practice though you gotta you gotta practice okay okay good next question so what is that process like of commanding your body and commanding your mind? You know, I, like, I'm starting to train more women and yeah. I notice they don't have any control over their body. They can't yeah. even, like, some of them can't even move when I first, like, start working out with them. Yeah. And I tell them, like, okay, you need to command your body. You need to tell it to move. You need to tell it to have energy. And what is that process like? Like, what do you think, like, should be going on through their head or what should they be saying to, like, get their body to do what they wanted to say and to really just take control over their body again and their mind and their emotions and not be a slave to it okay so th one this is real talk here all right now answer that you're my student before anything obviously right and i train you you were at my house the other night and i taught you for like about an hour right so this yeah. is a different level and everybody's getting to seeing the, see this which we're all going to learn okay uh okay so first and foremost Before you say, command your body, right? Unless you say, look, the lecture says command your body. Just do it, <laughs> right? I expect you, before you say it, to do it. Yeah. Because then it makes sense. You get it? Yeah. Then. Totally then you know how to do it. So you can ask me, how do I do it, right? For sure, that's what you're asking me. But I want you to notice something. I don't say what I don't do. Yeah, okay. That's why I say it. And, and that's why it hits for, and I'm just teaching everybody, right? This, that's why it hits for everybody, right? People can tell you, Hey, think positive. Hey, this and this and that. Motivation, blah, 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 blah. But it has to be, you have to, you have to, for you, you have to walk, you have to walk it. Let's go. Right? So, so how do you command your body? That's the question. How do you command your body? Well, you have to practice it all the fucking time. You have to command your posture. Yeah. Okay, this goes for everybody. You have to command your posture. Notice that shit. 
How unattractive is it when we see someone like this? Now, you may not notice them because you're yourself like that. Yeah. But the moment you start commanding your posture, you go, whoa, right? Or people mm -hmm. start to comment on you. Right? But for, for women, right? You need, to, you need to hold your body right. So how do you how do you practice commanding your body? Well, it's it's a constant practice. There's the obvious pieces when you're working out. Don't don't let the the energy of of what you showed up with dictate your workout. Look, sometimes it's fine. Right? If you're tired and you go to go work out, oh, I gotta take it a little bit lighter today. I'm fucking fucked up, <laughs> you know? There's those times. But if you constantly show up with whatever, you know, energy or vibrations life has given you always, you're not gonna get any further. You know what I mean? Then you'll take fucking nervousness as what it is, now, you know, you got anxiety. Now, you know, you're this way about life. And now, you know, well, I just, you know, I get shy or I don't talk. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, do you, you just want it to allow it to let it be like that? Right? So the command starts. One of the easiest ways to start is just commanding your body, right? Command your posture. Command your breathing. These are the two easiest things you can take, take control over, right? And then there's, you know, there's levels. There's fucking levels to this shit, you know? Come and learn, for real. There's levels to this shit. Okay, good. Next question. So my next question is, um, and I got this from somebody I was training earlier today, is how to, like, let go of negative moments and not to dwell on them. So let's say somebody gives you like a negative comment, like, oh, I don't know, like you look fat or you look ugly or somebody says something and it's negative or a situation happens and it's negative. How not to dwell on that and how to just, just be able to drop it and move forward? Yeah, well, I mean, ideally, I'm going to show you how I deal with it. And then, you know, there's different, like, there's different ways that you can do it, right? Yeah. Now, you know, sometimes you're just going to be able to literally go like this. Right? But again, I mean, literally, like, if, if, if you girls just get that anything practiced, anything fucking practiced is, can be yours. Whoa. You could literally practice being the person you've always wanted to be, right? Just practice that bitch. Just because, right? Didn't we dress up when we were younger as like, I was a Power Ranger, I was a fucking vampire. I was, what else was I? I was a vampire, I was a Power Ranger, I was a cheerleader, you know, for Halloween, right? I had a little bucket of all of my Halloween costumes. I don't know, did you guys have fucking a, a bunch of Halloween costumes when you were younger, right? So you tried on, you, you know, and I was like, oh my gosh, I am a fucking vampire right now. Well, look, bitch, I am a fucking vampire right now. Right? I mean, realistically or not realistically, I don't know, let's play. So you... Try on just being the person that you want to be. Now, I don't remember why you, you, I mean, I don't know how I got here from that question, but that was really cool. So I just wanted to let it keep going. But did that answer it or did that totally just <laughs> not even answer it? It well, didn't answer it. <laughs> but it was really powerful, I know. It, it was. No, it was, it was still very powerful, some deep stuff. Yeah. Uh, the question well, was, wanna, though, If you want to ask it again, you totally can, because... Yeah, it's like how to drop negative situations. 
Which and not let it, how to drop oh, negative situations. Okay. How to not let it uh, affect you. Well, that's where I'm at. Um, you know, it's an energy, okay? It's an energy that you need to, you need to practice dealing with, right? So there's different ways you can do it. You could literally, and, and, and what I am able to do now is it shows up and I can just, that's it. It just doesn't even stay in my world or my space. Right? So re the reason why I got over, you know, over there with that uh, answer is that, look, if, if, the, if this is available, right? It's not even in my space. It doesn't, okay, it comes, cool, whatever reaction. Okay, cool, done. Good. Practice just literally going, I'm not going to, I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, give energy or, or thought, right? Or Rush says where attention goes, energy flows. Again, where attention goes, energy flows, right? So here you are, you're, you're focusing on this, right? You're focusing on this and, and the energy starts flowing towards it. Your life force starts giving it fucking life. Right? So what you want to do is you want to look, just dim that, dim that, that thought down, whatever it is, dim it down and just shift your attention over to something else. Or even better, if let's say it sticks, if you can do this quickly, give it a nice frame. You either let the thought go because it's just fucking ridiculous to have. Okay, if it's a negative thought about yourself, don't spend any time on it. Don't even, do not, don't spend any fucking time on it. That's it. If it's a negative thought about your life, don't spend any time on it. So if it's a negative thought about yourself, you literally just, that's it. No, I'm not doing it, okay? And now if it's a negative thought about your life, then you either find a solution And change it because if it, you know, like if you got to take care of something, then then don't be foolish and just be like, okay. Well, you know, you know I'm just not going to fucking look at it and not think about it. Okay, it's what the lecture said. No, it didn't fucking say that actually. No, it didn't say that. Okay, <laughs> handle your life properly. Okay, make good decisions for your life. Make good decisions for yourself. Always, 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 always make survival decisions that makes you live better, that makes the people around you live better. If it makes you live worse or feel worse, don't, don't, do not entertain it. Right? Like the whole concept of, of, uh, I can't even think of the word of it, literally, uh, self, self-sabotage. What? You're going to spend how long beating yourself up? What? Hold on. Hold on. Who told you? Or who showed you? Or who never fucking stopped you from spending how many days in the dumps? Have some more self-pride. Don't do that. Don't do that. And then recognize at the same time that the people around you either saw it or they couldn't do anything about it. 
And that's why myself and, uh, and what we're doing, the, our team, right, is so important and valuable on this planet. So that that is canceled, okay? Look, I understand bad emotions. I get it. I know. I know. It's not that I didn't have and dealt with emotions and fucking negative thoughts and all that shit, but you have to be stronger than that shit. And you are, right? But when it comes down to it, and it's just you and you, okay? Now, hopefully you got some good people around you that got a good fucking head and a good heart. But when it's you and you, you have to be strong for yourself. And you gotta be able to drop the bullshit and get yourself the fuck together No, for real. And get yourself the fuck together. Stronger, not fucking weaker. Okay, this is where it, it changes a little bit. You, you've made it so far, right? We've all been through shit, okay? How many moments have I had with my goddamn self prior to meeting Arash, looking in that motherfucking mirror like, Okay, look, bitch, this is not right. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Now, you got to make it somehow. You got to make it a little bit longer. Let's go. Right? Thankfully, I, I met Arash, right? And, and now, you know, it's a whole different, it's a whole different life. It's a whole different set of beliefs. It's a whole different way of operating. Right? But now, look. You with you 24-7. And this is why you got to be down for you. You got to be like, look, I will make the right decisions for you. You know what I mean? I'm on your side. We're going to live this life well. Okay, now it's gonna be a little bit tough. It's, it's a trip. I don't know why we talk to ourselves or anything like that. It doesn't make sense, right? But you gotta do what you gotta do. You're talking to your mind, okay? You're, you're really doing that, okay? Now, you maybe get to this at some point where you could literally drop the mind. That's what I was saying earlier, right? You don't have to have those conversations with yourself because you never get that down. But hey, you have a journey, you have a process. You have to, you have to go, you have to, you have so much to learn. Okay, but in those moments when it's when it's you and you, right? You're with yourself 24/7. How can you not be so in love with the person that you're with 24/7? What a terrible life that is. If if you are with somebody 24/7 hours 24 hours 7 days a week. Is it 24 hours a day? 42, yeah, but it said it didn't fucking go split 24 seven. Oh, there you go. 24 seven. Yeah. Uh, let's say you didn't like the person you were like with 24 hours a day. That'd be fucking miserable. Right. That's what's happening. You don't, well, it's not that you, you don't like, okay. You don't like your mind. Yeah, you don't like when you're fucking negative or when it talks back, all right? You don't like that it's so noisy in there or whatever. And you don't like the way that you are, but it's, that's just because that's never been inspected. Yeah, have you ever inspected when you act weak, right? You don't like that shit. You shouldn't like that shit. You should, you should fucking despise it, actually.
You should despise it so much that you don't ever let it get there again, right? And the moment, the moment that you despise whatever it is so much, let's take weakness right now. You don't wanna know why? Because I hate weakness. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, that's the fucking worst to me. I hate it in myself when I used to have it or if it comes up ever. I hate it when I see it in other people. I hate it in all victim shit. Get the fuck out of here. That's just disgusting to me. But I had to hate it that much to get rid of it. You have to. So anyway, this is not a fucking lecture, okay? But Hey. Good. Okay. Next question. Hold on. Hold on. You're not unmuted. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, next question would be: I see people take life so serious. Yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of really um. Damn. Like I just want to tell them, like, don't take shit so serious. Yeah. And like, what would you say about that? So I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like how, like, what would you say to people who take life so serious? Like they, like I see people who take life serious about everything, like little problems yeah. that they have, they yeah. blow it up and they yeah. can't like seem to be happy, like about anything because this little ass problem. And it's yeah. like, I just want to like slap them a little bit and be like, girl, like, come on. Yeah, totally. Look, I, I don't, I stop trying to have other people fucking do that. You know what I mean? It's coming from the one who teaches. I, I, look, look, make sure, again, this is some self-love shit. Don't worry about other people taking life lightly. You do it. You know what I mean? When they get serious, laugh inside. Right? As long as you keep it light for yourself. Look, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can help somebody fucking be lighter. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if they're not on their fucking period or they're not super fucking upset, maybe I can, you know? The process is just fucking grueling to try to get someone to feel good sometimes. Ugh. And I'm a master at it. I'm telling you, I'm good. I am fucking good. I am so good. But it is difficult, right? So <laughs> look, in the, in the final analysis, make sure that you take it lightheartedly. You know, make sure that you, you have a, a, light, a light laugh inside because if anything if you really want to help somebody you're going to have to do it from from that heart anyway all right because if you get all fucking serious with them too then you guys are just going to be like a little serious sally fucking holding on to each other in the rain listening to some really sad music okay looking outside with eyes like that <laughs> like you know like we we become masters too at feeling bad right sometimes i like feeling sad you know oh my gosh sometimes i listen to songs i was listening to this fucking song the other day it came on and i said oh my uh, uh, something like oh my god fucking oh she reminded me the song reminded me that i that my heart's been torn Right? Like, we like that feeling. That's okay. I like listening to songs that remind me that, of that hurt. You know? And I turn that shit up, and I sing so loud, and sometimes, you know, a lot of emotion comes, and I feel a little, like, cry and then maybe i'll like text someone you know what i mean <laughs> like that's all good right so we know how we know how to feel sad right we know how to feel sad but do you know 
how to feel really good or how to feel really happy or how to feel really lightheartedness, right? So that, that's your practice. You know what I mean? Fuck trying to help them. Like, fuck, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. When I find a, a faster route to be able to help that, I will. But it's going to be first. I'm going to make sure that, that I can do it before I tell them to do it. You see, like I was telling you earlier. that'll be able to transfer. I'll be able to help somebody so much more. If I'm already there with it. Right? So then when you tell your students, and you've been practicing all day, right? Now you may be practicing, right? My students are, are all of my students that are on here. Don't live light lives. You know what I mean? You, you know, there's a lot of uh, new women on here, but the ones that are my students, the ones that have been training with me, right? Or on mentorship program, you have a routine. You got to recognize that you're doing things right. You know, but then when you have a full day where you go for a run in the morning, you command, you, you know, you command your body to do, you know, uh, or you're, you know, you have this hour and you get 10 things done instead of five, right? Or you're tired and you get the fuck up and you go take your dog for a walk. Or you don't, you would rather lay, but instead you read. Right? Or your body's craving sweets or a carb, but you eat chicken and fucking salad. Right, so then you have all of these moments, and then your student comes to you, like, meh, 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 meh. that's how you sound, just by BTW, okay? <laughs> yeah, Marie, yeah, when you complain about that little shit, you know how this sounds? <laughs> so, <laughs> Marie's hell laughing right now. So, uh, right, so you've been practicing all day, and they come to you, and they're like, right, and then you're like, uh, you, you just say, no, you have to command your body. And they're like, whoa, I feel that shit. Okay, I'm doing it. Fuck, real live demonstration in front of me. This is live action. This is real. Oh my God, it feels like it's like coming out to touch me. Right? And then they're like, then they're like okay, whew, I feel it. You have to say a little. B. Okay, good. Let's take uh, one more. And then if there's any questions from anybody on uh, Zoom, then you girls can ask too, okay? And Antoinette will read it. Okay, so next question is um, just being okay with things that happen in life and knowing that that's what's supposed to happen and not like rejecting things that happen, you know, instead of like rejecting, like let's say, yeah, like flowing with what what happens and being okay with okay if this situation is happening it must be because this has to happen good what about it like how are you like more okay like how would i like let's say for myself sometimes like i question all these different things like okay is this really supposed to happen or i have like some tension against it like how can i be more okay with okay this is the situation this is supposed to happen in my life for me to move forward and to be like where i want to be in life yeah i mean you know this is where like you have, you know, this is where I tell you your beliefs, right? About, about yourself and about your life, they will, they will manifest. So if you're going to have a thought about that, the right thought and the right belief to have is that everything is getting me to where I want to go. Like 100%. This is where belief comes in, right? Belief, belief. You have a belief of something. You feel it, you think it. This is, this is gonna be it, right? So look, if you're gonna have any thought on that, right? You just know. 
this is the certainty that comes in. You just know this is this is exactly what I need. Because, because Rosh would say, because I know where I'm going. You know what I mean? I just know where I'm going. I see it. I know that I'm going to have the house that I want, the car that I want, the money that I want, the family that I want, the, the body that I want. I just know it. That, because that's what I want. That's what I desire. And I'm not stopping. Right? That's why you just can't stop. Because then you take yourself out of the running for it. It is no longer an option if you stop. You see, but as long as you keep going, you're going to get better. You're going to get better. That's just like you, like it, you can't even help getting better. There's just a natural fucking, like a baby walks eventually. Okay, so there's also the process of moving forward in life. You just have to make sure you don't stop it and you don't fuck it up in the process. And you don't let your mind or your emotions turn you facing the other direction or turn you the fuck around, <laughs> right? Some people's life and, and things that happen in life, in life fucking actually turn them the fuck around and they're walking the other goddamn direction. <laughs> Linda, you're so funny. No, but Linda, you're a great example of this. No, no, not that. I mean this part, the positive part of it. Like no matter what has happened in your life in these last two months, nothing has stopped you. That is a fucking powerhouse and a force in itself. Right? And that's how you have to be. Right? I have unbreakable down my uh, spine. If anybody wants to know what that is, I don't normally say my tattoos, but unbreakable. But that's what it is. You just go, I am moving forward. This is what I'm going to have. Boom, boom, boom. Now, that's it. That's it. So it must be part of it. I must need this to grow. Good. Then pay attention. And grow. Growing always doesn't feel good. <laughs> Most of the time, it doesn't. Well, that's not true. I'd like to use the analogy of working out, right? You're lifting a weight. Fuck, the muscle starts burning, right? Fucking doing leg extensions. The muscle starts burning. Now, if you stop, you don't get stronger. But if you keep going, this is where the change happens. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up with this, and then uh, i got to go, okay? Arash is lecturing at 10, so I'm going to get off at 9.30, two minutes. Uh, let's see. Oh, so if something is coming up, literally, pay attention, look at this. If it's coming up in your world as a problem or a challenge, Well, it's not a challenge or a problem for everybody. It's a challenge and a problem for you. Must mean you need to get through this. Because on the other side, is where you want to be. Right? With a, with a chain gone. with an insecurity gone. Right, makes sense. Okay, then we'll go any further on that, all right? Okay, okay, look, it is Wednesday. Let me orient myself. It is Wednesday, this Friday. Jess and I have a booty building DVD coming out. Y'all are going to love it. Okay. You can get it right now. It's on uh, the website or one of my posts. I posted about it and we're going to release it on Friday. Okay. Obviously we know how it's done. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be on Friday at 10 AM and then 
let's see what the fuck else so much so much all right um life coaching course uh we are you know just killing it success program mentorship you guys know okay just just do your thing make it happen okay make it happen i'll see you girls soon all right this is imc nation let's kill it like Arashi Bazaar always says, be the best and fuck the rest. Thank you for being on, being on. Thank you for being beautiful and continuing to better yourself. We're going to kill it. This world ain't seen nothing like us before, okay? Peace out.